this is a rather entertaining five minutes about connections. Um, this would give you a link between religious studies, history, classics, uh, ancient history, whatever. Um, and I want you to imagine that you popped out of the railway station um, in Palazzo Barberini in Rome and you just go uh, around the corner and you'll see suddenly in front of you this enormous obelisk which should belong and did belong in Egypt and it was taken to Rome um, in celebration of the victory by uh, Augustus, um, that is Octavian, over Mark Antony um, in BC 31. Um, it arrived in Rome about 10 BC, so it took a little while to come. It was one of a pair of obelisks that um, Augustus took to celebrate his victory. The other one you'll find, uh, it, it's a Flaminian octopus, uh, you'll find it in the Piazza del Popolo. Um, now the the obelisk that we've got is a little bit shorter than it should be because it fell down in the 8th century, was buried for um, many years, was dug up by Pope Pius VI, uh, who reigned in 1775 to 1799. He added a bronze emblem to himself at the top. Um, it's now about 200 metres away from its original position. Its original position, uh, it acted as a sundial um, and... Uh, a shadow was cast onto an altar that had been erected, an altar to peace that had been also been erected by Augustus Caesar. Uh, the original obelisk goes back to a wonderful pharaoh whose name was Sametikos II. He was the father of Apires. Now, what's interesting is the inscription at the base of the obelisk. The inscription reads, Imp! Short for Imperator, Emperor, uh, Kaiser, Caesar, Divi F, Divi F. Short for Divi Filius, Son of God. This is a title which St. Paul attributes to Christ, to Jesus, uh, when Paul presents Christianity to the Roman world. This is a title that belonged from Augustus to the Roman emperors. Uh, along with Pontifex Maximus, which is a title which is acquired um, by the Catholic popes. But the initials DF could be reversed, FD, um, because in Latin, word order is not as important as the endings of words. Uh, the, 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 um, uh, the inflected endings of a word indicate how that word is to be seen within a sentence, subject, object, verb, and so on. The word order is not as important as word order is in English, unless, of course, you happen to be Yoda in Star Wars. Um, FD. FD would occur here on a coin in, um, in the UK. And around the coin, around the head of the Queen, there are little words. And I want to go through these words now, because this is, again, another instance of history as symbol or history in our everyday life. It, it reads here, Elizabeth, the Queen, to, second Elizabeth, DG, de gratias, um, by the grace of God, Reg, Latin word for Queen, Regina, uh, FD, oh my goodness, there we are, FD, Fidei Defensor, or in the case of the Queen, it would be Fidei Defensatrix, Defender of the Faith, Prince Charles thinks it should soon be defender of faith. But in fact, again, in Latin there is no definite article, so it really doesn't matter one way or the other. This was a, uh, this was a title given by Pope Leo X to Henry VIII in 1521, on uh, October the 11th. It, 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 was a, it was an award because Henry had written a pamphlet attacking the ideas of Martin Luther. Um, a, a pamphlet about the importance of the seven sacraments. Um, in fact, the popes had been giving this title, this award, to various kings. They'd given one to the Scottish king, James the um, Juli uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, Julius II, uh, the fellow whose um, monumental tomb was designed by Michelangelo in Rome. Julius II had given James the Fourth this award in 
1507. Uh, a similar award was given to James's son in 1537 um, in, in the hopes that he wouldn't go the same way as uh, Henry VIII and the kings and queens of England. Um, the award to Henry was revoked by Paul III um, after he converted or after, after he abandoned the Catholic Church in 1530. It was re it, the reward was restored by Parliament in 1544 and was retained thereafter, and, and particularly after the restoration of the monarchy, after Cromwell's adventure, um, ever since. And so we find it today on our coins. Um, I, 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 it's been on the coins actually since 1714, with a little blip in 1849, when it was missing from the florin, the, 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 the florin was called the godless florin as a result. Now, let's link all those things together. FD, defender of the faith. FD, son of God, or DF, son of God, and the titles given to Augustus, to Jesus, and to our own monarch. Um, so there we are, we've got a little bit of history in our pocket, a little bit of history and a little bit of religion. All these things come down to the, to the money that we are using on an everyday basis. So thank you very much.